Hi, I'm Annie with ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie, and I'd like to give you a little more information about our pattern, Tools of the Trade. Let's talk a little bit about the supplies that you will need to make these sturdy carriers. The pattern recommends that you use three fabrics for each bag. A main fabric for the exterior of the bag and the padded sleeve inside, a lining fabric for the interior and lining of the sleeve, and a coordinating fabric for the fabric divider, stabilizer sleeve, facings, handles, borders, and bindings. The main and lining fabrics are quilted with soft and stable to give body, stability, and cushioning to the bags. Note that the pattern includes the option of quilting the fabric on a domestic machine or on a mid-arm or long arm. Cutting layouts are included for both options. Directional fabrics will be fine for this project. Please review the add-on video for more information before choosing all your fabrics. Using Biani Soft and Stable for the carriers gives great body and stability and enables you to use any type of fabric. We especially like to use quilting cottons because of the wide range of colors and designs that are available. You will need a two-yard package of Soft and Stable for either size bag, but you will have leftovers for another small project or two. You'll also need some fusible interfacing to stabilize the borders and facings. Adding interfacing to these pieces prolongs wear and also gives a crisper, more professional finish. Zippers are used on the front pocket, side strips, and the interior mesh pocket. We recommend that you use handbag zippers from Biani.com. Their wider width makes installation easy, and you'll love their extra-large slides. A mesh divider on the interior padded sleeve, as well as a zippered mesh pocket on the inside of the bag, will hold and organize lots of tools and supplies. By Annie's lightweight mesh comes in many fun colors and is packaged in a half-yard package. The piece measures 18 inches by 54 inches. You'll need one package for each bag, though you'll have leftovers for another project or two. Here's a tip. Cut small pieces of all the colors of mesh that you've collected. When you're ready to pick mesh for your project, lay out the pieces to audition colors. Sometimes the one you think is the obvious choice gets bumped by something completely different. To make this extra easy, we now have mesh sample packs, which feature all 14 colors of our lightweight mesh mounted on a sturdy printed version of our zipper color card. This is the perfect tool for planning your projects and getting all the colors just right. The mesh divider on the padded sleeve is bound using fold-over elastic, which stretches along with the mesh. It also adds a pop of color and is extra easy to attach. Biani's fold-over elastic comes in many fun colors and is packaged in a two-yard package, which is enough for either bag. You may coordinate the fold-over elastic with the mesh or use a contrasting color to liven things up. We keep pieces of fold-over elastic on a ring to make it easy to audition colors. To reinforce the handles, you will need some PolyPro strapping, one inch wide for the small bag and one and a half inch wide for the large bag. Strapping is available at Biani.com in six yard packages in black and white. One package is enough to make either size bag. The strapping is covered with fabric to create a truly custom look for your project. The pattern includes complete instructions for this. You'll also need some hardware for the bag. Two sets of sew-in magnets to close the flaps and two triangle or D-rings to attach to the handles. These rings may be used to attach a key ring, carabiner, or a crossbody carrying strap. For added stability and to provide extra protection to items carried within the bag, we recommend inserting a base stabilizer into the stabilizer sleeve at the bottom of the bag. You may cut this from corrugated plastic signboard or thin plexiglass. Finally, you'll also need some thread to match the fabrics. 
Stitching will be visible on the main lining and coordinating fabrics, as well as the zipper tape, mesh, and fold-over elastic. So we suggest gathering threads to coordinate with all. We use and recommend Superior Threads Sew Fine No. 50, a 50-weight 50 polyester thread. Once you've purchased the tools of the trade pattern, be sure to visit byannie.com and use the unique coupon that came with your pattern to get the add-on video that we filmed for the project at no charge. This helpful video series will give you an overview of the project so that you can get off on the right foot. It will also cover the steps to attach the zippers to the side strips. You'll be pleased with how easy this is. Attach the handles to the bag front and bind the bag front. The Tools of the Trade pattern is fun to make and offers a great opportunity to learn these skills. Quilt using Soft and Stable to add body and stability to your bag. Attach sew-in magnets to close the upper flap, adding facings to prolong wear. Bind mesh pockets using fold-over elastic. Attach smooth, wrinkle-free bindings on straight and curved edges using cross-grain and bias bindings. Easily attach zippers. Round corners to make assembly extra easy. And join pieces to make sturdy, functional bags. We can't wait to see what you make, so be sure to share pictures of your finished projects with us. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube by using at Patterns by Annie. You may also email photos to us at marketing at If you liked this video, please give us some feedback by clicking on the like button below. Remember to hit the subscribe button too so you are sure to be notified when we post new videos. Thanks so much for watching. Happy stitching!